Welcome back, Outlander Romero Carpenter. What's that? You think you may have found an ally? Hmm. Good luck with that. What was that uh, Xenomorph facehugger dude? I couldn't quite understand you. Uh, back for day 12 of Vigor. And I might have finally found somebody to get this ally's story challenge done, so let's see what happens. Alright. This other person is on. Daily login. Sucks that I didn't get those last few. Apparently there's 10 daily logins. I only got up to 6 before it ended for me. And I didn't get like 100 coins and a cool helmet. And I was playing every day, so I don't know what happened. Uh, now how do I go to game invites? All players. Team free slot. How do I how do I join this? This guy sent me an invite. How do I join? Hang on a second. Ha ha! Here we go. So how do we go into a team? This person uh, sent me a message on the same PSM profiles gaming session. The one guy wanted me to play through everything with him. Hang on, dude, I don't know. Okay, I'll take him what I got. Uh, and when I was specifically said I only wanted to play just this one mission, I'm a lone wolf. And this other guy's like, oh, I want to play through all of them with you. And then another person commented, "There's what are you talking about? There's not even any story missions on Vigor. There's nothing that requires two players. I said, ah, yeah, there is. This is what it's called. Anyway, this person messaged and said, hey, I need to do that too. So I was like, yeah, let's go. Apparently we're going to Vic Dawson Station. This person knows what they're doing because they're already queued us and everything. They're probably waiting on me. I'm sorry, dude, if, if you ever watch this video. You probably won't, but... I'm sorry. Um, I had to give my dog his medication. He's diabetic. And has cushions, and uh, had to give him his food. It's a lot of medicine, that dog. Don't you binge? So I had to get that done before I could jump on. I wonder if we'll find a lobby any quicker with this person. Like, what will my ping be? Nah, because it'd still be across the country, I think. I don't know where they're from. I don't know where they're from. We'll find out um, on their screen if the matchmaking is really, really bad and the ping is really, really bad. I wonder how glitchy I'll look. But I can't do anything about that because apparently, as I've said before, there's only one server. And it's located in Norway. Surrounded by radiation. And uh, lots of other... Electrical interference from the northern lights, maybe. Magnetic interference. I think that's the issue. So get into Vic Dawson in a minute and get this story challenge done. Yay! Finally! The no one has to do this alone. Has come to increase back. the chances of making it back alive, to find allies. yourself a trustworthy ally to watch your back. That's the plan. I've found one. Just, um, that's what happens when you're a lone wolf. You know, a couple of lone wolves here trying to get the allies story mission done. Let's do it. You know how I know they're a lone wolf like me? They didn't answer any of my messages <laughs> when I saw they were on. Um, they jumped on this morning when I said I was going to be on. They waited around half an hour for me to feed my dog. Um, I said I'll be on in 30 minutes. No answer back. Loading in now, no answer back. Feeding the dog, no answer back. Uh, but as soon as I got on the game, they sent me an invite. Here we are. I like it. That's how you know they're not a talker. Unless English is their second language, or they don't speak very good English. Oh, great. Look at the lobby we got in. Kill 2,500 Outlanders. Kill 1,000 Outlanders. 
So yeah, look, they're going in with nothing. Collect nine vital mementos. That's what I, I should have done, but she readied up before I had a chance. Um, she's like me. She's, she likes to look around, explore the maps, look for loot, try and get out alive from all these killers. I feel your pain. Oaks, 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 oaks. Exa, I feel your pain. So what I think I'm going to do so I don't lose my stuff. You were smart. You came in empty-handed. I'm going to turn around and head to the nearest exit. We're not here to make friends. We're here to uh, get to the exit. And where would that be? There's one right there, but it needs fuel. Great. It needs wire, sorry. Maybe we head there. Hey! Hey! There we go. I didn't want, I'm just messaging now saying thanks to many killers in that lobby and I didn't want to lose my guns. They're going to be running around in teams and they're just going to melt us. I'm just a lowly scavenger survivor. <laughs> Please tell me that counted. Yes! Alright. I think she wanted to hang around and try and get some loot, but she had nothing to lose. She had no guns. Oh, I didn't want to lose that stuff to those demons that are in there hunting in packs. I'm a lone wolf. I wish you could say bye. I'm like, hey, when we first loaded in, hey. Uh, hey, when I left, hey. <laughs> but she had the idea. I ran to the exit. She ran to the same exit as me after she realized where I was going. The Outlands are full of little trinkets from the old days. I like to keep them around as a memento of what we lost, and a reminder to rebuild. Again, I just found a memento yesterday. And what's the story challenge I get for the next day? Mementos. <laughs> uh, Alright. I gotta say, see you later to this person and start going in solo again. So thank you again to uh, whoever you are and wherever you're from. Yeah, she said, it's fine, I'm a looter that goes in with nothing. Tried to rat yesterday, but failed miserably. Alright. So they do speak English. I'm just going to say now, did you get the challenge done? If you did, then... Um, thank you. We'll go our separate ways. <laughs> they said, um, I don't think this genre of game is for me. I said, yeah, LOL, I feel ya. But the base building has me hooked. Good luck out there. Yeah, right now, just trying to get 100% trophies. Thanks for the challenge and hope your dog enjoyed the food. See, had to get the same thing done as me. And we got it done together. That's what I like. We go our separate ways. Move on down the road. And uh, hope we don't ac accidentally kill each other somewhere. So now we can actually do some lone wolfing. Well, maybe I'll do a lone wolf, but if I do any lone wolfs from now on, I'm going in with no guns. 
Okay, like she did. I was smart. Go in with nothing if you're going to do a lone wolf. Because that's where people go to kill more so than solos. What sort of a day is it today? It's a nice day. Every day is a nice day when you got this view. Except for that stupid blinking light over there. I mean, look at that. Like, you could not find a better spot to set up base. You couldn't. I mean, this would be, uh... Probably... Not a good spot, because if it was known, you're going to have raiders hitting this spot wanting it for themselves all the time. Waterfalls, streams. Uh, you got a nice little, I'm um, guessing that's salt water. Inlet, bay, I don't know. Like, dude, snowy mountain tops. Just go and remove that light bulb already and we'll be happy. So now, let's go get some dailies done. What have we got? Oh, sure. Oh, it gets me every time. Upgraded premium. I, 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 I. Not going to happen this season. So let's just um, pick. I think I've already picked that one, but it keeps popping up. Why is that? Um, what's that? A Jorgen trophy bag for all the psychos out there. There's a gimp mask, a sadist mask, stitched hands. None of this is going to matter because I'm not going to be able to collect this stuff anyway. Crowns, special issue, 25 crowns. Uh, let's go to the sadist mask because it's funny. Um, not going to happen anyway. Maybe if they keep this as a legacy season down the track, but I think I heard they're getting rid of legacy seasons, which sucks. All more reason to f try and do the ones that uh, they have before they w remove them. I hope they don't. The Outlands are full of little trinkets from the old days. That's right. I like to keep them around. Found one yesterday. As a memento of what we lost, and a reminder to rebuild. If I had got that story challenge done yesterday, I would have been able to do this one and the daily challenge of finding a troll at the same time. Loot locked container. Can I loot it after someone else has been in it? Kill seven outlanders. Not going to happen. You know what? I, that You do get mortar strikes right there. Look at that. Watching my video back of yesterday, yesterday and I, that bloody extract camper that somehow killed me midair before I could land jump strafing um, from close range with a machine gun. If I had a mortar, because I used a signal detector and saw he was camping right there. If I had a mortar, can I just call it in on him and he doesn't receive a notification and boom, boom, boom. I, I, I might take in a mortar and see if that works. That's transmitters again. That's right. I did one of these yesterday. I, I did, um, I can't remember what it was, but I did have another one up here. Here it is, Craft 3 Assault Rifles. Transmitters. Don't have any new parts. All right, let's see what's going to happen here. See, I think she might have had the right idea. And I go in as a rat for the first one. Man, you go in as a rat without a weapon, though, man. I've got to take in something. Maybe I'll take in this. Uh, I've got five of them. ADR. Just in case I run across anybody. Special issue ammo, though. If I if I run out, I'm screwed. Taking in a, no, 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 no. What are you taking in two for, you fool? Remove that. Take in another stack. All right. Let's go. Oh, Diverg just opened, though. People will be running in there. High-level dudes. Let's do it. I can always run to a nearest exit if I have to. So I'm going in with uh, the ADR. I'm taking in a mortar strike in case anyone's extra camping, a jammer, painkillers in case I need an iodine tablet, of course, and 
an armor plate, which I found useless to the guy that, again, killed me when I was jumping. He, so he's right there where that board is, right? Except it was the other direction. Okay, he's right there where that mailbox is, right? And I'm coming from a bank, you know, an incline, and I jump down, because I know he's there. I jump down like this, and before I can even hit the ground, he strafe kills me. With a, with a, that green wash and manger, uh three machine gun. With a tripod. It's heavy. It's supposed to be. But he just dead before I could even land. And give me a break. Extraction campers have a special place in hell. In these outlands. The Vergi. We'll see you soon. Now the loading times have been long today. That was another five minute wait. Maybe it's too early in the day here in Australia and elsewhere it's too late in the day. I don't know. I got five of these ADRs. The, the, the ammunition looks rare apparently, but um, yeah, I got five of them. I'll try and find a memento. Okay, no one stands out as a psychopath killer, really. And this guy came in with five, four guns, maybe by accident. Kill 50 outlanders, but he's, he's got a shotgun. I mean, maybe that dude? He's wearing a green coat and he's a level 33. This guy's a Builds, he only builds shelter improvements. Maybe this one will be okay. <laughs> okay. I need a memento. Let's go to locations I haven't been. I've probably heard giggles at some of these other ones though and I should be heading there, but I will. I need to use the disruptive tower too. I'm gonna head there after I go down the hill here. Oh, hello. A forest dump. Someone took a dump of huge. Looting proportions. There's someone there, I heard him. Sorry, buddy. Oh, it's this poor bugger. <laughs> that is a nice gun. I do have a bunch of these. I feel bad. Oh, I feel bad. I feel bad. 
I'm sorry, bud. You didn't leave, leave me a choice. I didn't know I was there. No, I heard footsteps before that. You just can't run the risk. That someone's going to roll up on you in this game. And uh, take your stuff. He stood there. He stood still like he was looking like, where, where'd this guy go? So I'm right here, hiding under the tree. I feel bad. I hope that wasn't my friend from El... No, it wasn't. Different skin. It's all good. It's all good. Romero. It's all good. Okay. Sometimes it's kill or be killed. Load your Luger. That's the guy that accidentally brought in all his guns. Our combat magnum is nice. I do have a couple of those. And this one. I'm getting switched from that to that. That is a nice gun, man. He was standing still, though. Okay. Safe is being unlocked. Once again, mate, I apologise. Sincerely apologise. Jesus. Where's that at? Oh, we got a shootout happening down by the river. Um, maybe I third party it. These signal. Okay, they're all. It's the guy with the shotgun has killed 50 outlanders. How good a shot is he with it? Do I find out? And there's two guys there I'm going this way. Two people in that spot. It's too risky. I just heard a troll. Heard a freaking troll, and that's what I'm after. I see it. Are you serious? Just sitting here out in the open, dude. Hell yeah. Just sitting there in the open. Not at a like location on the map that I thought he would be. I thought they showed up like POIs. Points of interest. For those wondering what the hell I was talking about. Okay, one of those those two guys is dead. There's two people gone out of this lobby already. I killed one. One of those two killed each other. And then there's me. So there's still six people in here. Then you got this person over here with a machine gun. I'm gonna sneeze, hang on. Alright. Yeah, that person using the signals detector, I think he's doing it to see where everyone is because the airdrop's about to come in.
Collecting the airdrop is rewarding, but it's also challenging to escape the other Outlanders. I don't think I'm close enough to go for that. I think uh, I've done enough killing for today. We uh, let whoever's going for that airdrop get it. Because it's well away from me. I'm going to go and try and hit this barred house. Late. Is this the map I got the airdrop on yesterday? No, because it came down on top of the cliff. That was awesome, man. Is. Can I get up higher? What the hell? Is that guy with the machine gun stalking me? Like... Holy crap. I'm not near an extract, am I? No. Well, that's going to be a fourth person dead. Can I get up onto this ridge line here? I don't think I... Maybe I can. I think I need to go up high. How loud are footsteps in this game? Is it just me that can hear them that loud? Yeah, this is the map where I was hit the airdrop late up on the cliff. No one's touching it again. There's too many trees, man. There's too many spots for that guy to hide. Let's keep rotating. Spud House. There's so many sniper spots on this map, like it's all... Okay. I oh, do I have an iodine tablet. Do I go for the airdrop or the Bard House? What, what's got the better loot? Got the, oh, the bar, bar house is closer. No, I've just gone the wrong way. It's there. Okay, if they're down the hill, they're probably going to go to one of these other extracts. Has someone been here already? They have. The safe in the Bard House will take some time to open. Watch out for other Outlanders. Is 
Yeah, someone's been here, damn it. They came in the other side. Ooh. Which do I... I've got a bunch of those. UKVZ59. I mean, is it that good? Maybe not. And I keep the ADR. Damn. Do I head there? Let's do it. Can you make it from here all the way over there with one radiation pill? Probably not. Probably not. I wish that airdrop was closer to me. All been hit. Hang on, this button. see my crosshair. It's yellow. I'm going to switch it back to aqua. Maybe it's just because I've got the radiation on me at the moment. It's kind of uh, hard to see. If that airdrop was over near me further, man, I should have rolled, I should have pushed over there quicker. I would have had time to get to it. Killed a poor little dude feel bad but again like I was there and I heard footsteps and I was like oh crap so I got out of there but then he might have been waiting for me to leave and gonna, and then he thought oh he's gone and he came in to pick up the scraps <laughs> and I'm laying there under a tree oh that's right I got that troll I got that troll decent run Yeah, the yellow crosshair. Now nah, I'm gonna switch it back to the aqua. It probably depends on what colour map you're on. I suppose you could do it mid map. You could go, oh, I can't see this yellow crosshair on this map. I'm gonna switch it. It also depend on daytime or nighttime. But that yellow one on that map mm, needed something a bit darker, like a a blue. Oh hey! Actually getting somewhere with these story missions now. Thank you. Again, to the person that helped me. The outlands are full of little The Outland. Is that it? The Outland. Is that that's it? There's no more story? That was it. We just needed I needed to get like two more done after that. One more. Memento. The Outlands are full of little trinkets from the old days. Okay. So we were close. Man, it's so close to getting into the Legacy Season 2. Gonna start with Season 1, Season, you know, move my way up. Let's see where we can go. What, what have we got? Sagbrook. You got the workers' quarters that has all the good crafty parts. I might be able to get some bits to craft this transmitter. But I'm going to go in. S that's a pretty full on map every time I go in there. That's where I met that last uh, extraction camper. So I'm just going to get rid of everything. I'm going to go on a scavenging run. Maybe we'll just take in a Luger. There we go. Just a Luger, some ammo, a jammer, some painkillers. Let's do a scavenging run. Sagbrook 
Need some crafty parts for some transmitters. Sagbrook. Welcome to Noisy Taps in Sagbrook. Who have we in here today? We have some psychos. I'm telling you, this map is always full of psychos. Psychos. Look, 5,000 Outlanders with a tripod machine gun. This guy's got a tripod machine gun. It's always full of psychos. Travels a thousand kilometers in encounters. That's because they run from spot to spot killing Outlanders. Alright, I'm glad I didn't come in with anything but... Aluga! Aluga! I spawned right near the airdrop, but, um, yeah. This is where I wanted to be for the crafty bits. I just got Aluga! I just sit here and camp the airdrop location. Someone will move it before I get there. Someone guarantee spawned over here near this settlement. Do I push just straight through the airdrop over to here? What the hell is that? See, someone's just over here already. I need the uh, crafty bits from the workers' quarters, so that's where I'm heading. Transmitter. I uh, I need that. Ready? Here we go. It's one done. Take a second and listen. Listen. The yellow doesn't look too bad. Green? No, definitely not blue. See, aqua just stand. Oh, maybe I'll. Got a look skulking around. He's going after that guy that's printed down here. Do you reckon he saw me while I was trying to figure out what? Say to use, I think he did. I think I'm dead. He was skulking around because he knows there's spawn locations down here, so he was skulking down this way. I think I'll turn around and go back the other way. I don't think I go that way. I'm dead either way, so let's just check. The, try and get this crosshair on a colour I like. I think I. I'm messing around with crosshairs and they're out there killing. <laughs> uh, that's funny. The yellow does stand out more. Too much action happening over there, man. Oh, look, that's a Luger. If I had a better gun, I probably could have stepped out and tried to take one of them. 
Holy shit, yeah, now we're going the other way. We're leaving. We're out of there. See where all the action's at, man? Probably push over here afterwards. This map has a... <coughs> Man, my throat today. This map has a lot of action. Whoever spawned over here pushed straight over there. Like I did. So, but they didn't loot this area. They might have left some good stuff. What the hell is that? Apparently a creaky door means that somebody's opened the, the safe or something. I don't know. I heard a wooden creaking door. The noises that happen in this game, maybe it means someone's in my area. Maybe it means someone's in the building that I'm about to enter. Maybe it's just a creaky door. Well, there's a challenge for killing people with melee weapons. So maybe I just switch to the melee weapon and if someone shows up, we'll see what happens. Extract. Oh, it is, but it's further over there. Everyone's just in here for killing. Damn, I thought that was a locked container. I thought I hit the jackpot. Anything I find isn't mine to begin with. I've heard people say in Tarkov, so uh, if I die, I die. I lose a Luger and some um, Parabellum ammo. No great loss. People will be looking to extract here because the airdrop is right there. So gotta be there's probably a camper already there waiting. No doubt. Fake stash? I said... Why won't it let me take that? That was weird. Did I hit this yellow one yet? I don't think I did. The plane is incoming. Here comes the Aware airdrop. Of the drop zone. It will be dangerous. Here comes the airdrop. Now it's about to get more hectic. Oh, are you serious? Get this and get out before they try and extract the airdrop and the camper is already there. Look at the he does. That's what I was hoping to find. Is someone camping this already? What do you reckon? I'm betting they are. Crafty bits. Out of space. How 
need to leave. Need to leave. That shooting, you reckon no one's going for that airdrop or killing anyone that tries to? <laughs> that was a hot spot, man. Everyone just pushed to that one area, and it's always hot that area. Always. Every time I've been on that map, around that one spot, the workers' quarters, the f whatever it is, the sawmill, I don't know, it's always hot. People like to camp up on rooftops and got out with some goodies. that whole time I was getting a drink, filling up the ice cube, taking a leak. <sighs> I just thought of a... something you could do when people seem to like to sprint straight to these uh, safe locations and locked containers. And um, maybe that's what I always hear going on because other people do it. If you've got a mortar strike and everyone just likes to sprint straight to one of those, and kill anyone that gets in their way. Just drop a mortar strike on it. Could be a tactic. I didn't open that crate that I got earlier, did I? Let's open it. Purple one, military grade. What are we gonna get? Rare caffeine crafting pass. Caffeine is pretty good. Is that like a machine pistol? Like a like a full auto? It kind of looks like it. Whoop, got an uncommon as well. Okay. Coming handy for daily challenges, crafty bits. Shut up, rats. Alright, where are we going? Hmm, still need more transmitters. Phil Compton, I could try and hit that uh, house on the hill and get that vinyl. Anakin's just too deadly, man. I wish you could see if it was going to be daytime or nighttime, because the nighttime on Anakin might be a little easier. I might go Anakin. What the hell? We'll go to Phil Compton after. Let's uh, get a bit of load out though. Alright, SVU. Got some long range. And I'm going to try out this Rafika. That's going to be it. Jump in. Taking a mortar strike in case I need it. To Anakin. Why can't you see the trolls around your house? Like, you can see the lighters. Are the trolls hidden outdoors? Maybe they'd like to be outdoors. So there's a lighter there that I've found. That's right, loot the, loot the locked container one time. Man. Okay, if I spawn right next to it, if I get a shot. Seven outlanders. I killed one poor dude. Again, sorry, buddy. Loot locked container. It's only worth 750 XP, but you do get some good stuff in them probably, so not much in the way of uh, daily challenges today. Maybe I'll look at doing some seasonal ones. Uh, what else can I do? Try and find more mementos. Definitely need to find those. 
because they're part of the seasonal challenge. Cassette tapes would be nice to get all of those. I think I found one of them in a safe once. So they're in the hard to get places. You gotta risk it to get the biscuit. No one wants to do anything. Five, nearly six minutes. Like, I know I th there's a troll on here somewhere. I ran in this one area one time, but I had to get out of there before I could search to see where he was. Seven and a half minutes. Holy crap. Maybe I should just go for the Compton. I might as well wait it out now. Ten minutes. Gave time for all of the uh, psychos to jump in. I <laughs> know oh, we're all noobs, except for one dude. Okay. Yeah, she's no noob. Sniper rifle. I got the silent sniper rifle because I don't want people swinging on where I'm at. There's another sniper rifle. They know you got. You need a sniper rifle on this map. They're looking for those headshots. Now you got this gunslinger over here. He's supposedly a level zero, but that's just for the season because he's collected all the troll mementos. I did see one person with COD in their name too, so you know how they are going to be looking to play the game. I'm right on the locked container, are you serious? How do I unlock it? Open the bloody thing, how do you open it? Are you serious? That's just so dumb. So dumb. What a dumb fucking mechanic. What a dumb mechanic. I spawn right next to the locked container. And I've got to open three friggin' locks to be able to get in it. No wonder people shoot them off. What a dumb mechanic. I'm just a sitting duck for someone to come up and shoot me in the head. Okay. Your locked container is stupid. I'm sorry. You, you try and open three friggin' padlocks on there and get shot in the head before you can do it. It's stupid. I spawned right on that bloody thing. There's only four other people on the map. I knew I was dead as soon as I had to get up on the top to do that last one. I'm like, this is ridiculous. I'm going to die. What a stupid freaking idea. What a stupid freaking idea. No wonder no one touches them. I waited 10 minutes to get into that map. 10 friggin' minutes. Spawn right on the locked container. And it takes another 10 minutes to open the bloody thing. Dumb. If I hadn't have already filled out the survey, I would let you know my thoughts. Because, uh, that was a complete waste of freaking time. Freaking ridiculous. Let's just do a, uh, scav run in Phil Carnton so I can calm down. I'm kind of going to miss Ada's voice. <laughs> as annoying as it was to hear her repeat the same mission every time I came in here when I couldn't do it. Now she's gone. <sighs> I can't believe it. Like, yeah, and I'm not even going to talk about it. I've already said my piece on uh, what I think of lootable con locked containers. Let's move on. Let's try and get some good stuff in here. I'm not touching another one of those lootable containers 
ever again. And unless no one has touched it and it's the end of the round and I can roll up on it late. Because you spawn right on it and you just a sit and duck for whoever wants to pick you off. And look at the lobby I got in. I'm glad I didn't bring anything in. I'm glad I didn't bring anything in. This is another map where this all the killers just come to this map. Sagbrook and Philcanton. Like, I wish it could have been night time at least for that friggin' Anakin run. So that I could have at least... You know... I thought, oh, I can stand here and unlock. I've already started unlocking it. I'll just stand here. I, I, I should have laid down. And by then it was too late. If it was dark, I might have had a better chance. Just to sit and duck even for a noob to come up and shoot me in the head. But they're just going to... I suppose they only have to unlock one padlock to get into it. So they probably got it. Oh, you're welcome. Alright, spawned on something I haven't been to before, so let's go check it out. Well, I think I did, right? There should be something right here. Undiscovered. Where is it? <coughs> Get up there, you fool. Little mountain goat. Lonely man's resting place. Okay. Got a little grave up here. He's just a lonely boy from a poor family. Spare him his life. Oh, well, so, someone didn't spare him his life. On this monstrosity. Flowers. It's pretty flowers. There is a troll that's found where there's pretty flowers. Felcanton has pretty flowers. Let's go get some areas we haven't discovered yet. Stay away from the psychos. Can I take some more fall damage? Get up the cliff. Now you gotta do do what goats do. You gotta like you gotta come at it from an angle. No, maybe not. No, maybe not. There you go, there you go, there you go. A little goat in training. Holy crap. I should have... I should have said what I was... I had a mortar strike on me, I'm pretty sure, too. I should have sat back, but when I spawned right on it, I'm like... I've got time to grab this and go. But I should have just sat there and waited for someone else to do it and bloody mortar struck it. Are you serious? Get out of there, you could get in the flowers. Get in the flowers. Look. The signals detector, where is it? Where is it in relation to me? Look where the freaking um cache is. I'm not going for that. I wish I had to use this. Inside the range of the disruptor. Do I go to a comm station? Jammer blocked in it yet. Yeah, cool, that counts as a. There's a comm station right there, damn. So I hope someone moves the airdrop and then I can go back and get the cash. Do I head to the comm station and do it myself? Do you reckon. How do I get up there? Oh, that's. Yeah, no, nah, I'm sitting duck up there. I 
I might just sit in range of this tower thingy and see how many blocked signals I can get to count towards this seasonal challenge. Yeah, that's up on the hill where the crash chopper is. Of these psychos, will you? Damn, I'm out of range of the uh, jammer. Get back in there. Oh, I've got to reuse it. Oh, it's broken? It's got a cooldown. Okay. Oh, well, that's cooling down. Lake Wallow. Don't wallow in the lake of the wallow. What am I saying, man? Lost my marbles. There's nothing at the lake. A lot of action. There's a lot, a lot of action. Did I find crafty bits for a transmitter? I do have that vinyl too. Someone move the freaking thing. Why aren't they moving it? Maybe I do it do it late. place out. House on Haunted Hill. Oh, this is the church. Someone's used it already, damn it. Friendly hello to if anyone's still here. There's a locked container here. Oh, baby trap this. Another cash key, dude. Cash is, is out of reach.
Transmitter. Uh, transmitter. What do I get rid of? I'm stumped. Transmitter. Let's use it. Alright, where's the extract? Nobody's touching the airdrop again. I believe I haven't found a weapon of any kind. Where's the signal detector? Miles away. So they're using that light to see where everyone is so they can hit the airdrop. Comes all the fighting. Do I go here? Get this area done, and then extract. Crazy driver discovered. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Crazy driver. That was a pretty good scav run if I can get to this exit without someone camping it. Radiation is coming. Better run to the nearest exit. I get hit by radiation first, which I know that, that actually works to my favour. Please don't have this scav, oh, this exit being in a weird spot. Got a vinyl, lots of stuff. That was a good one. <laughs> Went in with nothing. Went in with nothing. So that's a good haul. Nice. Vinyl collection starting to build. <laughs> jingle wave. So this is jingle wave. Jingle wave. Like I've heard a synth wave, dark wave, jingle wave. Not bad. Not bad. Don't mind it. Pretty cool. Stop that in case I get a copyright strike on the. I don't know if there's copyright strikes from the game. Uh for the music that plays from those vinyls so I don't want to risk it alright because you go oh but it's why would they have copyright strikes on music that's in the game it's happened to me before not a strike but your videos you know gets uh, 
flagged for copyright and you demonetized basically if it ever gets monetized like I remember when I was playing Bioshock there was a song from the freaking 1930s playing on a gramophone for five seconds in the background while I was fighting a big daddy and I got a copyright for it and I had to either mute that or cut that from you could barely hear it and I had to mute it or cut it from the video it's, I mean they're a bit less strict these days but I'm just not going to risk it so we still need the lootable container eh? locked container one time <coughs> Found a couple of transmitters. Can I craft any more of those yet? Because I need to find parts to do so. Or just keep finding them in our uh, crates. Alright, let's do a proper run. Alright, I'm going to take in a Mosin. Grease gun. Let's get greasy. Mortar strike. Going pretty loaded up. I'm taking three adrenaline shots. I wish I could carry in five because there's a seasonal challenge for using five in one raid. But I've got to find the other two. Try and do that while I'm in here. Got a signal detector, see if anyone else is around me, and a jammer. And a useless armor plate. <laughs> Where are we going to go? Where should we go? Pretty fully loaded maps. Um, Battery Drog. That's where I'm going. That looks like a place where I could find some transmitters. Yeah. Hey Banj, battery drog. I'm go drogging for some batteries for my transmitter. Oh, here we go. Yes, I know that's not what battery drog means. Drug drog. What's the lobby look like? I'm not in the room. I can't tell. What's the lobby look like? Great. Here we can see, look, here we go, Jam Hindus. I've seen this person before, they killed me, they were laying in the grass on this exact same map. Laying in the grass at the top of the map, with their machine gun, and a jammer in place. Yeah. And another person, killed 2,500 Outlanders. I reckon some people come in here as teams, and they just use Discord to communicate. And they don't kill each other, they're just coming here hunting people. Or we're heading straight, another person, three people with that same freaking machine gun. I'm out, dude. I'm out. I've got to get out of here. They like to lay on that rooftop and take people out when they're trying to get to the exit. Or they like to lay in the grass. So I'm out. See is You're not hunting me. Bye! Bunch of low lifes in that lobby, man. I'm out of there. Safe return, all right. You get to keep all that stuff you went in there with, that you worked hard for. You're not giving it up to someone else. Survival is the name of the game, for me anyway. It's not laying on rooftops, camping extracts, or laying in the grass, camping extracts, or hiding behind rocks, camping extracts. No. If I see a bunch of people that I know that's how they play the game, I'm out. Kill each other. But then they probably aren't in there to do that at all. They're just in there to help each other. It's the jingle wave. Wow, <laughs> bow, Dun, 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 
Alright. Let's try again. I might just go back there knowing that they're already... Yeah, we'll head to Battery Drive and get a different lobby. I think it kind of sucks. You can only do one upgrade at a time. If I have the means to upgrade something else, I should be allowed to do it. What's the reasoning behind that? I mean, it's just going to take forever to upgrade stuff if you can only upgrade one thing at a time. Um, yeah, I don't see the reasoning behind that. If you've worked hard to collect the materials and you have enough materials to upgrade something else, let me do it. Oh, they want you to spend coins. Okay, yeah, we got, they want you to spend coins to instantly up, upgrade. Oh, I got it now, before you can upgrade something else. I got it, I got it, I got it. Or at least have something in here you can upgrade that then enables you to upgrade two things at once. And then if you upgrade that something again, you can upgrade three things at once. Oh. Let's see what kind of uh, lobby we get this time for Battery Drog. Maybe you might get someone that was in the last one that got killed quick by one of the other killers. Killed 2,500 Outlanders. Yep. Here's another guy, Masha Winger 3. We'll just keep trying and see. Yeah, Quasi Clown. We'll uh, leave as quick as possible on this one too. And. Uh, loot anything on the way to the exit and then come back and try again it's raining too which is cool I want to use I've got what's five hours left on these uh, this double XP ticket so I want to at least get as much done as I can while that's happening do I snake around in my belly and try not to get killed by these two killers that are in here or or what right near the airdrop damn it people are gonna be sprinting here Let's go loot up, look for an exit. It's raining, so it's, the visibility is going to be lower, harder for me to get killed. You watch this car alarm go off, ready? There we go, there's a machine gun Kelly over there already. signal detector's been popped already? The signal detector, okay, where's that at? The, it's right near me. If I'm the only one else over here, they're coming straight for me. Coming straight for us! Um, I'm kind of screwed. I didn't spawn near an extract. I, uh, people are going to be sitting up here for the comm station. They're going to be camping it to shoot the airdrop. Maybe they'll change the airdrop location. If they can change the airdrop location with a comm station, and then I can push across here. That's the extract though where they like to roof camp. Jeez. I mean, I've got to hang around now. I've got no choice. It didn't put me near an extract. I was going to head up the uh, water line, which is a pretty safe spot to head, but guess what? The airdrop's there! Damn it. Do I just stay over here? Am 
Maybe just stay over here. It's rainy. I'll keep down. Let's play their game. Let's play like a little snake in the grass. Use the signals detector again. It's alright, it's alright. It's not a portable one. Or somebody, it's just a freaking road sign or a grave marking or something. I reckon they're gonna sprint to this location because I was sitting still. They're like, oh, they're just laying down in the grass over there waiting for the airdrop. So I'm gonna move. Sitting right in the middle of the airdrop, man. Oh, they're all over there fighting over that. An outlander has been marked as a threat. How many Fight people is this dude kill already? They're going to be looking to kill everybody. Alright, they've already killed a bunch of people. There's no point in hanging around trying to get that airdrop, they're going to go for it themselves. Someone's been here. Cash key. They're going to use a portable signal detector next. I reckon we go for this buried cache. They'll be coming over for the airdrop, so... Should be able to push away from here. You have to kill four people to get that, okay? So there's only three other people in here, and he's one of them. One, two, three, four... Three other people besides me in here, and he's one of them. The rest of us are probably just trying to survive. Someone's been here. Probably found the same cash key I just found. Why wouldn't they take the food though? Safe has been unlocked. Where is that guy you reckon? He was over here. Now he's unlocking a safe, which is probably in the Bard house. Guess where that is? Right near where I need to get this cash from. This isn't a good spot. Troll. 
I didn't even hear him giggle. Is that because I've already found a fire troll? Collecting the airdrop is rewarding, but it's also challenging to escape the other outlanders. Okay, he should be there looking to hunt people over near that, so... I think it's because I've already found... the fire troll. I just found an airdrop. Do I pick that up or the cash? What's got better stuff in it? I'm already fully loaded. The cash isn't going to help me. I can get this airdrop and we get out of here. I need wire. I've got 11 wire. That should be enough. We're heading for the wire exit. Snatching and leaving with the airdrop is not easy. The position of the airdrop is revealed to all outlanders. Again, the airdrop appeared in that crate about the same time as the plane was coming. Weird. Run your fool. Forget the food, what are you doing? Exit is closed, find a way to open it. Yeah, I've got some wire here. 20? 20? Someone's here. It's the same dude. I can't drop it. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah. 20 freaking wire. 20. Hope he picks it up and dies. Cuz I don't have <laughs> I don't have 20 wire in there, buddy. Good luck. 20 wire. All right, note to self, do not go to uh extracts like that again. The amount of radiation on that thing was ridiculous. I got trolled by the game there. I put that airdrop in there when I was already fully kitted up and and put it in there near an exit where I needed 20 wire to get out of, but I had 11. So I thought, oh, I've got I've got wire, I've got 11. You only need five fuel to get out of a fuel ex exit. I'll take 11 wire. I oh, guess what? You need 20. All that looting you did and found 11 wire. Sorry, you need 20 wire. I mean, if that guy hadn't have rolled up, I might have run around that area and tried to find some loot. There might have been 20 wire sitting around the boat somewhere. I hope that guy dies. I hope he dies because he picks up that supply drop. I was out of there otherwise. Well, that was fun. Too much radiation on those air, those supply drops. Way too much. So, screw that crap. All right, done messing around. I'm gonna take in this RPK just for a scav run. But if anyone gets in my way, I'm gonna melt them. Sick of you tools. Can't go and find your own loot. Just in there hunting people. Was that the uh, guy that was the threat? Or was he just trying to survive like me? Oh, no. He was running to me to take what I had. And I hope he dies because he picks it up and can't extract. 
Where are we going to go? Back to Battery Drug again? No, I don't think so. Oh, screw it. Let's go. I bet you I run into the same people because it's the only map they play. The same people that I backed out. I, I quickly rendered the exit from the first uh, mission. I bet you they're all here again. 20 wire. I thought I've got 11. That's plenty. Freaking ridiculous. To put that supply drop. The game trolled me. Put a supply drop in a crate right next to an extract that it knew I didn't have enough wire to get out of. After someone had uh, radiated it with a comm station. <laughs> ah well. The drug battery. Hello! Will we see the same tools that we saw the last two times we came to Battery Draug? We have Shrek. Or is that Fiona? So we see a bunch of new tools. There's one. There's another one. This map is just a killer's map. It is. I don't know why this map is, but it is. It seems to be a killer's map. And when you're a poor little lonely scavenger like me, this is not the place to be. With my little bobble hat. And I ain't all that. I just looking to survive, you see. They're, they're freaking wire. They put it there. They put it there to troll me again. So hey, remember the wire exit you couldn't get out of? I just found a shotgun. Nice. I might uh, actually load that up. Dummy, dummy cash. Cash or cache? These signals detector. What a surprise. Are they right near me? Yes, they are. Are they going to come this way? Yes, they are. Comm station's already been activated. What's this thing? A decoy. That's right. I don't want to give away my position. Can't shut the door on this place. Fuck her off with your telephone. Your little phone call up your behind. I don't like being in this area. Hey, let's head here again, see if we can find another one. I 
could go wrong. What could go wrong, eh? I should have put that decoy inside that battery. Where else can we go? Go over to the other one? Well, there's nothing else really around here. No. I think we just go do some looting and get out. The locked containers there, but no one's touching that. Maybe I'll go this way and then be trapped by an electronics exit that I can't get out of. <laughs> Um, there's nothing around here for me to get. Crappy spawn. Crappy spawn, man. They're all in the direction in that direction. We don't want to go that way. Ludic I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of don't want to be on this map. I don't think I'm going to come back here again today. I'm just going to go to this exit and get a look at it. Hey, you idiot. You're not even anywhere near it and I've just fallen off the cliff. Am I stuck? Come and kill me and take my stuff, please. Get me off this map. want to look at this e exit and see if there was any wire laying around that I could have found if I didn't get rolled up on by that dude. <clears throat> 20 wire this time. Holy... That was a 20 last time. I think it was. No, look, there's no wire around. I was screwed. I swear I heard someone. To survive. Come day, come day, come day, come day. Ooh, ooh! Get all that stuff off the screen. Those little pop-ups are too big. You need to do something about that. Come day. Kumete, Kumete. Signals detectors right there, so if someone uses it, I'm screwed. I don't want to I don't want to be here. This is not a good spot. Has anyone touched the container yet? I 
Has anybody... Collecting the airdrop is rewarding, but it's also challenging Ready. to escape the Signal other will be used. I've marked it just so I know how far away it is from my spot. Here comes the plane right over my head, so everyone's looking at me right now. Go away, plane. Look, I'm on, I'm on a side of the map that doesn't have it. I've, I've got one electronic and no wire. Why am I over here? Why am I over here? Start getting this way now. Yep, maybe I can find some electronics over there, though. No. Get out of there. You're in a dumb spot. You know, the same thing's going to happen to you again. Look where the airdrop dropped. I thought it was supposed to drop over here. That dropped really wide of the circle. Maybe I do keep heading this way. Or something up there, is that where I've been already? I think it is. You can single shot that. Everyone knows I just used that, which is stupid. This little thing pops up, I'm pretty sure, says that someone used the disruptor and everyone within its range is now hidden. It's so dumb that it does that. Signal detect. Someone camping it already, you reckon? It's not like I've found much. Let's go find out. I do have a radiation pill. If I, if I need it. Burnt out campsite. The boat go. Here comes the radiation again, and you're gonna die because you're an idiot. Two electronics to leave. Ooh, I just found two electronics. See, why couldn't the other one have been two wire? You know what I'm saying? It only cost me two electronics to leave and I just found two on the boat. The other one wanted freaking 20 wire. Hey, get out of here. I can't really do anything. Do I run to this spot, try and get some loot, and try and then run back here? Yeah, 
keep my radiation tablet for another trip. I just opened the exit for everyone else. Right now they're like, oh cool, I'll just head there. See, a troll would have went, oh, would have opened the exit, walked out of the thing that said leaving area in. If I do that, do I then have to use another two electronics though? Or does the boat stay running? So I could unlock it so people go, oh, quick, there's an extract there, and run to that spot, and then I camp it with my radiation pill. <laughs> but that's just not me. Didn't come out of there with much at all. But, I mean, I was going to leave straight away when I saw who was in the lobby, so I got, I got more than I was thinking I was going to get. The one true outlander, 50 encounters. Let's get that reward. Do I try for this loot container, locked container? I think the only way I'm going to try for that is if I just go in with nothing. Or at least nothing I'm willing to lose. Oh, where's my crate? There it is. Rare crate. Come on! Good stuff. Antibiotic parts iodine. I got the solid red for the uh, AK, which I don't understand. Um, it stands out too much. Let's have a look. Weapons. Assault rifle. There we go, solid red for the A74K. I suppose it doesn't stand out that much more than the other finish, does it? But again, it's just like a beacon. Hey, over here! See the red gun in the freaking bush? <laughs> yeah, no thanks. I'll stick with the regular skin. Yeah, so I still need the transmitters. And a uh, lootable container. Look, I'm, I'm going to do that, but I'm not going to take in anything that I'll, I'm willing to lose. So we'll get rid of that. Right, what can I try it on? Hmm. Let's go with Fisk Fabric. I don't know where the lootable container is on this map. Hopefully I'll spawn right near it. And we'll try and sprint there and open it. And get our head shot off again. Good times. That coin. Just taking in a crappy shotgun. If I lose it, I lose it. Which is uh, high probability. Fisking and fabriking. Why is it when I um, am trying to do something while I'm waiting for a lobby, I find one within the first minute or two minutes, and when I'm not trying to do something, I'm sitting there watching the bloody thing, it takes five minutes. Just wanted to quickly upload my last Vicar video. But now that's probably going to have to wait. What have we got? What have we got? There's the problem right there. Anyone with that skin? A kill thousand outlanders. Someone's got the same idea as me, come in with nothing. But uh, yeah, none of us are getting that locked container. Seriously, do they know that that's one of the daily challenges, so they're just here to kill people that are trying to do it? Give me a break. Can I just get a, an easy lobby so I can get this done, please? Go play duos and trios with your bloody psycho selves. I spawned right on the lock safe. Might as well go for it.
Where's the other timer? Is it outside as well? Yeah, I'm dead. Portable signal detector revealed my position. I'm dead. Let's uh, try and get out of here. Let someone else have that safe. Cash key. Could I maybe I'll just go for that. If we can get through all the psychos to get to it. What do you reckon my chances of survival are? Use the comm station to change the drop zone. How do I do it? Stealth, quick release, reinforce, decoy, oversized, radioactive. How do I move it? Decoy. It didn't give me the option to move the location of it. That's what I wanted to do. And then that guy rolled in. See how he was creeping in there? He was going to booby trap at us. signals detector where is it where is it I don't want the bloody airdrop you can have it I'm trying to get over here okay what gun did he have and that was one of the psychos he just didn't know I was there he was skulking in there you can have it guys I don't want it okay let me get around the cliffs here. And you can take it. I want that cash. Look at this thing, man. Where's the tripod on it? It doesn't have a tripod on it. Picture it does. Oh, when you lay down, it opens up. That's pretty cool, man. That guy's pissed. He's like, I'm going to sneak in here and I'm going to... He wasn't expecting me to be uh, in there with a shotgun, was he?
Okay, so comm station activated. Hopefully they move the airdrop. I was just in there. Why didn't it discover that area? I have to go straight through the friggin' airdrop location. I don't have a choice. This is not good. What was that? See, there's a weird audio cue. What was that? Someone opened the safe? Timed safe was unlocked. Okay. <coughs> That's that. Okay. I want that. If I can get there. And then extract over there. I booby trapped the airdrop on my what could turn out to be myself. They're all going for it, okay? Get out of here. Get out of here. I kind of like, I, like, I get, oh yeah, you get the airdrop, and then I've got to talk myself out of it. They're all back there at the comm station. Hasn't this airdrop come yet? Come on. The plane with the airdrop is about to reach your area. Avoid the drop zone if you are not ready to fight with other outlanders. If this thing lands on my head again, I've got no extract though. I'm going to be sitting dark. Someone's camping this exit, 100%. Because there's no exit but there and there that they can run to with it. So don't, don't drop on me, okay? I don't want it. I don't want it. Just a sitting duck with that thing. Get up the rock, you idiot. Someone's sniping from up there, I reckon. This is just a really bad spot to be. Somebody got it already? Really? Where are they? down there. Is there a tunnel or something? Oh, there is. They ran through the tunnel. They, they're going to get camp extract, uh, extract uh, killed. 100%. You watch. I wish I had a sniper so I could see them down there. Good luck, buddy, but I think you're uh, toast. So am I, if I, if I don't get to an extract soon.
Whoa, 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 whoa. Go running in the rocks, man. Radiation is near. Don't stay too much longer. I don't plan on it. Uh, it would be nice if I could find this. Thank you. Hopefully it's got a radiation pill in here. If it doesn't, so we're screwed. I don't think it did. We can pop one of those. I will if I need to. I need to. Oh, I didn't need to, it's closer than I thought. That was a waste. It's... We gotta be. <sighs> Don't know how I feel about that one. Uh... Did that guy get out with that airdrop? I wonder. Got a cash. I don't know how I'm going to get a lootable container. All I went in there with was that crappy silver pigeon shotgun, so. I just wish I could have got more. Oh, are they. Hang on. Transmitter parts? No, that's a signal detector part. Damn. Forgot I was after those as well. Couldn't even find one of those. Leveled up. Alright, what did I get for leveling up? Didn't get me that time, I was expecting it. Uh, geez, is that all? If I select this stuff and then I get the legacy pass later, I wonder if this stuff becomes unlocked to me. Probably not, I'd have to I have to play through the whole premium pass again, right? Yeah. So let's just take um I'll take the gun. Okay. Still gotta get those transmitters done. Hmm. Someone else responded to my original post on Vigor's Discord saying they need to get this thing done too, so I'm going to help them out, because I know what it's like when uh, no one will help you get something done. No one, will, no one wants to help you, but give smart-ass answers. It took me a while to actually find someone else that actually wanted to help. So let's help this dude out. Let's help him get his... I'm going to remove this, though, before he cues me into a... Dude, I already... I just sent you one. Um, let's remove everything. He sent me an invitation, I tried to accept it, and then I, and... I sent him one, and it said we're already in a party, so... <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Maybe just do it, I stay in and do a zero to hero run. Can't get it, get, get rid of the stuff. And that. Alright, here's... Initiated max matchmaker. Yeah, I'm glad I got rid of all my stuff. I was like, BAM! Same thing the last person did to me. Straight into a match! Thought I'd better unload all my stuff first. Where's our uh, Grom time? 34 minutes. I might as well hang around, run through Grom time. I've got, I'm, I'm going in with zero. I'll try and come out with some transmitters. Or use some transmitters if I find them. Come out with some transmitter parts as well. Jeez! Uh, what server 
He must be close to the server location, man. That's the quickest I've ever gotten a lobby. Unless everyone plays teams on this game. Does everyone play teams? Maybe that's the case. And it takes me five minutes to find a match because um, I'm solo. Most people play teams and every now and then one of them gets bored and goes, I want to go kill some noobs and goes to solos. So here we go. Bunch of bobble-headed dudes that are probably low levels just trying to get that same story challenge done. Maybe go rolling in solo into like lone wolfing into uh, teams every now and then probably isn't a bad idea because people will be trying to get that story challenge done. And you might come in with a bunch of people who are going to extract straight away and have the whole lobby to yourself. Hmm, I might start lone wolfing. I might do a day of just all lone wolf. That'll be the next day. Next mission is just lone wolf missions. Next day, day 13, unlucky 13. Maybe it will be lucky. I think it'll be day 13. I don't know, man. I've lost count. Am I near an extract? Not really. Yep, I'm, I'm heading the same way, bud. Hey! Actually, I might, uh... Do I hang around? There we go. Did my good deed for the day. Helped the dude out. Goes around, comes around. Someone helped me out to get that story challenge done. It's only fair that I return the favour and help another person. So that's three of us that got that story challenge out of the way. And I thought I was going to unlock a bunch more story challenges. It did like one more, or the memento the troll and then that was it <laughs> damn I thought there was going to be more to it so what I'm going to do now is I'm thinking I go in with nothing nothing at all I've decided on day 13 I'm going to do like a unlucky 13 day and just do an entire day of lone wolf runs Maybe there'll be people going in that are lower levels than I thought. With some high levels. But I might get in some lobbies here and there with low level people just looking to get the story challenge done and extract. Will that happen in the last third of the season? Probably not, but at the start of the next season it will definitely. So I'll definitely be doing it then. Go into more uh, team missions. Do the story challenge challenges reset every season? They might draw new people to the game though and they'll be looking to knock it out. Anyway, Lone Wolf Day on day 13. It's decided. For now, I'm going to go in with nothing. Oh, maybe maybe I'll take in a shotgun just to save my bacon. 
because I need to open this looted, looted, loot container, shipping container thing with three locks on it that's impossible to open. You know the one I'm talking about. It's taking a silver pigeon, ten shots. I don't even care if I don't if get away with the loot that's inside it. Okay. All I want to do is loot it. I just want to open it. I'll spawn near it and open it. That's it. But you know what I should do? In case someone beats me to it. Mortar strike it, baby. Mortar strike it. To a portable signal detector and see if anyone's around me. Maybe. See, now I'm, now I'm taking too much stuff in. Maybe a shotgun isn't going to help me in this situation. Maybe I'll take in a... Uh, Hmm. Okay, shotgun. Mosin, in case someone beats me to it, I could maybe get a headshot on them, like that bastard did to me. Signals detector to see if anyone's around. If I spawn right near it, I can just quickly pop that and go right no one. That's how far away the nearest person is. Run straight to it. That's the plan, Stan. And find some transmitter parts if we can, man. <laughs> I'm sure that like people that play this game all the time know the best map to hit loot containers on. I'm betting Kirsten isn't one of them. Uh, battery Draug seems too deadly. Fisk for Breek. That is pretty deadly also. For um, loot containers. Let's go Battery Draug. Hopefully we get a nice dark night and I can get there before anyone else. If not, I'm going to mortar that son of a... We'll see what happens. A terry drog. I'm hoping that um, even if I loot the locked container after someone's looted it and they've left some stuff inside of it, maybe that'll count towards the daily. It's the uh, standard, let's look at who we're dealing with. Somebody's coming in with nothing. We've got some fake noobs in here. And uh, loot, loot container campers. That's what I see. Oh, we've got one guy that's going to run around trying to M60 everyone to death. Kill 50 outlanders. He's coming in with a pump action shotgun. And here we go. This is the killer here. It's running around with the uh, machine gun, level 50. That's who's going to kill me if I get killed. Unless I spawn on the loot container, and then it could be any one of these guys popping me in the head while I'm trying to open locks. Like, seriously, you've really just got to shoot the lock off. But what happens then? I've heard airstrike hits if you do that. Do you have to quickly shoot the lock off, run back? That's why I've heard um, multiple airstrikes. Maybe for every lock you shoot off, you've got to dodge an airstrike. And yeah, no, loot container's way over there. I think uh, we hit this here because I've never been there before. Cross another thing off the map. Easy's today, man. Where's the disruptive power? Someone's going for it already. What's that noise? That's a car alarm, and that's nearby. That is nearby. We have an exit right here, ladies and gentlemen. Open bloody thing. Lock signal detections and encounters using draft disruptive towers or jet. Oh, I don't even have to use it myself. I just have to be in range of it. And I get credit. That's good to know. Cool. Someone else used it and helped me out. This is a smaller house than I thought it was going to be. Small little motel. It's 
not really what I came in here for. I can't even remember what I came in here for. Transmitter parts. Okay, you need five fuel. That's for future reference in case we have to come this way. Five fuel. There's a car over there. I reckon someone's over there. That's the, where the car alarm noise was. Actually, can't you open your map to see what alarm went off? I think you can. Oh, okay, look where the airdrop is. Someone moved that there with the comm station, and then they're going to camp up here on the rooftops. We need to turn around and go the other way now. This way is no longer safe. Not that that ever is. Someone's going to sit up on that roof. We can't be here. We can't be here. Hear me, Benj? We have to leave. Get your head down. Serpentine. Stick to cover. Watch out for bush campers. shack here. The log shack is a little old place where we can go look in log shacks. Log shack baby. Log shack baby. Log shack. That's where it's at. Sign said Stay away, fools. I'm heading on down to the log shack. Next spot. Signals detector is where. They might head this way, so let's move. They've done that to see if ever anyone's near their airdrop. Maybe the person moved the airdrop. Was this person because they want to hit that? Yeah. Little old place where we can loot some stuff in the middle of a dirt path, which is weird. Log shack, baby. Ponds discovered. What could he do? What's this? Fertilizer near a pond. Oh. Uh, we've done the log shack. What are we going to do now? Let's check this place out. Well, burnt out campsites. Oh, is that a fake stash? It's a fake stash. Where's that at? Is that right where I was headed? I know who that is. That's um that's somebody that likes to camp in bushes down around here somewhere and shoot ya. Probably here. People like to lay down and shoot people. Okay, let's get your head down time. I was supposed to be going for the loot container, wasn't I? But I didn't like where it spawned on the map. Signal detector there. People are using that to see who's around. So they can kill them when they try and hit it. I mean, I do have a signal detector. I've got a little portable one. Do I use it? Used the signal detector. Yeah, they know I'm over here now. Damn it. I 
I just want to hit this spot here, but I think it's too close to the signal detector. Somebody's skulking around. Somebody. Multiple somebodies. The plane is incoming. Beware of the drop zone. It will be dangerous. Okay, they went all the way down there. Good. Let's get out of here. I wish I had another one of those. Oh, I wish I had another one of those. Oh, this is the infamous wire exit. I've got 27 wire. Good. Maybe I just leave. I don't like this map. Okay, don't come to Battery Drag with a locked container. I suppose it depends where you spawn. If I'd have spawned here, I could have sat in here in the bunker and listened for people coming in. I got a try guy over here that was trying to hunt me down. Unless he was leaving. The extract is right there. Maybe he got the barred house. No, because he ran one way and ran past me. Then he turned around and ran the other way and ran past me. He wasn't leaving. He was hanging around. People are sniping the locked container. So what should I do? It's too far out of position now. It's all the way over there. Radiation's about to come in. Here comes that guy again.
portable signal detector incoming, you reckon? I've got wire. So that's where we're headed. Radiation is coming. Better run to the nearest exit. But we've got a hunter in here. I've got to be careful. I reckon he ran over here, camped that one, there was no one there, so he's gone to this one. Run, you idiot. out of here. Don't like that there's a guy creeping around trying to hunt people. Let's get out of there. Got out with my neck. Didn't like the way that guy was acting, man. He was acting suspicious, creeping around. Not even creeping around, running around like he doesn't care. Not the map to be trying to get the loot container, I've decided. Patwank! Alright, getting a bit closer with some of our daily, uh, with our, sorry, seasonals. Not dailies. A bit Dawson. Battery snow deck, another battery. This one's a bit colder and maybe a bit foggier. But, but Dawson's good for crafty parts and I need transmitters. So that's where I'm going. If we can get a look at the loot container, I'll have a look. Mm. But i uh, not going to stick my neck out for it. Or maybe hang around late enough where I can have a see if I can loot it and maybe there'll be something left behind. But it probably doesn't count unless I open it myself. Cover so close that first time I tried it. It's the first and only time I've ever tried opening one. I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, there's a padlock on this side. Oh, what? There's another padlock on this side? Where's the other padlock? Where's the other padlock? I spent like 30 seconds running around trying to find the other one because it wasn't highlighted. Oh, it's, on, it's up on the top part. Okay, I'll climb up here and try and open it. dead. If I knew where all three of those were, I'd probably open it before that person rolls up. Victorian Station. It was a cold and wintry night. None of the lights worked. We couldn't see but four feet in front of our faces. There was something out there. Or someone. Suddenly, I saw a couple of green coats. We looked at each other and knew we had to run for our lives. Yeah. Crossbow? Where'd you get that from? I'm ready. To die. Not today. Spawned right near the airdrop. Surprise, surprise. Do I just sit here and camp it? While everyone goes for the loot container. Which is weird. It's weird. 
Where's the loot container? It's not on the map. Doesn't this map have one? That's weird. Well, that just put a friggin' bullseye on my forehead even more than it already was. Right? Because... Someone's going to move this airdrop, hopefully. Where's the loot container? You can't... come into maps late. So, someone... wouldn't have already opened it. I don't think I've ever seen that happen, where one doesn't appear on the map. Somebody's already got a friggin' and they're coming this way. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Yours is mine. The airdrop is not easy. The position of the airdrop is revealed to all Outlanders. I mean, that was a couple of nice shots with that Mosin. One, two, dead. I mean, that was, that was, that was just destiny. I'm sorry, buddy. That was your destiny. Your destiny was to somehow find a, a uh, supply drop in a crate within minutes of the raid start. I mean, talk about what he thought was brilliant luck. Unfortunately, I spawned right near the extract you were running to. No one had time to booby trap because if they booby trap the airdrop, it also booby traps. It's like they, um, when they come up with this concept for these, I don't know, what do they call them again? Special crates or special containers or something that they added to the game. They didn't add a different mechanic for it, they just made them the same as airdrops. So if someone uses a com box to booby trap the airdrop, it also booby traps any of these that are on the map because it counts them as airdrops. Um, maybe it was to give people a chance to get airdrops that can't get the actual airdrops. They put these on the map. But I do apologise, dude. Uh, he had a blue gun. Which I could have swapped out for one of my two guns. But I just, I was like, dude, I'm getting out of here before someone does the same to me they just did to you, that I did to you. I do apologise. Again. <laughs> So sorry, bud. It was just, it was, you know, destiny. Like I said, it was fate. Down he went. It's like, yeah. Man on the run. Man on the run. I saw him pull out my gun. Now he's not having fun. Cause he's no longer a man on the run. No longer a man on the run. Pulled out my Mosin. First shot hit him. He turned around to sort of look where it come from and maybe pull out a gun and return fire. And I thought, oh, I've got to quickly just fire another shot here. I'm out in the open. Thankfully, the second shot put him down. Maybe he wasn't a low level dude. Maybe he was not even looking to extract. He wasn't running straight for it. He thought, I'll just tuck this little supply drop in my back pocket and I'll go over here and camp and I'll kill a bunch of people and take some more stuff. Who knows? I shouldn't feel sorry for people because he wasn't wearing a green coat. When I watch the video back, I'll have to see what uh, dude it was that was on the uh, in the lobby. Based on the skin, he was wearing black. 
black beanie, I think, black face paint. Maybe he was a high level dude. Let's open this up. Say thank you to the man on the run. Have a snack. And get back out there. Let's have a look. I mean, you should feel honored, dude. I think you're my only kill for the week. <laughs> I know I killed a couple of guys earlier that I feel bad for as well. Four kills for the week. There's no room for sympathy. Well, yes there is. Don't be so cold. Should we go back to Vic Dawson? I do need crafty bits still. Let's have a bath first. I feel dirty after that. Wash myself clean. Get malaria while I'm at it. Get off, get off me. Look at the radiation grenade. I've never looked at it before. Like, what the... Okay, we got dynamite on it to blow open the thermos. The thermos must be designed to keep the plutonium or whatever's inside of it stable. Is this a thing? Do people actually do this? It's pretty deadly. Vic Dawson. That guy might be in this one, looking for revenge. I killed him, he loaded into this map again because he wanted to do something on this map. Maybe he's anticipating I'll be back on this map myself after extracting with his airdrop. Alright, anyone with the name Menace? Fresh? What the f... Gold members here? Gold member! Okay, there we go. There's a killer. There's another killer. Anyone that runs around with that face paint on. That could be that person I just killed, actually. They looked very similar to that. <laughs> that outfit. Like, he wants to stand out and he does not care. Come get me. Dressed all in gold. Six, five, four, three. Hello! Nowhere near the locked container, but I am near the comms station. Oh, it's nice and foggy. Let's uh, move it up. I have no idea where what I just did. We're gonna move it. Somebody was to my right. Ah, oh, screw you. Yeah, look, what did I say? What did I say? It was Mr. Alpha Ghost. I told you. You can always pick who you're going to die to in the lobby. Always. At least I can. You just got to look at their skin. And you know what they're doing. <sighs> Karma got me. Then again, how do I know that wasn't him? How do I know the person I killed wasn't a psycho and I just got lucky and stumbled across them? But I knew it. 
I said that dude with the black face paint. Unfortunately, I was uh, I had a shotgun that had to reload after two shots. I don't know if I did any damage. I don't think I did. That's the massive downside to those gun. They they have a lot of uh, damage to them, but two shots and you got to reload. I should I've got to remember not to bother aiming with the left trigger. Just move my cursor over and fire. Move the little uh, dot over. Just aim with the dot. Which I'm going to change back to yellow. I don't like the... Uh... I don't like the aqua. I'm a Barbie girl. In the... Oh, I don't have a weapon. <laughs> No. Oh well. These things happen. Zero to hero. Yeah, the, see it would be nice to take in something that can fire more than two shots. But uh I'm running out of those. Just in case we come across anybody I'm taking this in. Taking another Mosin, who cares? 30 shots. And let's head to Battery Snoddect. Oh, screw it, let's go back to Big Dawson. I want to hit up some crafty parts. Determined. Been in there twice. Once I killed somebody, next they killed me, so. Hey, third time's a charm. Let's, let's get what we need. How much longer on the daily challenges? One hour forty seven. So what have I got? I've got it on yellow. Oh, gee, I thought of it. The yellow isn't good for green maps. I don't know, man. What should I be leaving it on? It probably is just a map by map basis. See, I can't see that either at a distance. Up close though in the snow where I was just then, I need something white. A white backdrop. It would have been nice to uh, see that dot a lot clearer. Hmm. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie white. Aqua. Blue, definitely not green. Yellow is brighter than anything, isn't it? But you're on a green map, it does kind of blend in. Let's go with Aqua. Hey! Hello! What are you doing? I wish I could go fishing. Why do I sound like a sim? Hey! Hello! What company makes sims? It might be a uh, Norwegian company or something. Some bastard stole my fishing rod. Three times into one map, one death, one kill. What will happen the third time? Maybe I'll get the lootable container. <laughs> what do you think my chances are of that, buddy? What? I don't understand. Come on. Four minutes. Six minutes later. We finally hit Victorson Station for the third time today. Will we see the same bunch of random dudes? <laughs> I, I, I went off script. Sorry. 
Um, smaller lobby. So hopefully, since the last couple of times people have jumped in here to do some killing, they've now left to kill elsewhere. Seven people on the map means more chance to survive, right? You would think. But for a killer, they're like, oh, more chance to clear the lobby. So, uh... That's the killer right there. RPK, 29. The rest of us are low levels, except for this dude is a fake low level. She's the one we're going to watch out for. That RPK. I wish I had a better gun than that bloody silver pigeon against that dude just then. Trace. Alright, come on. Where'd you spawn me? All the way over here. Thanks a lot. Someone's going to sprint to that from over here somewhere. It probably all spawned us, clumped us together, which it likes to do, which is really annoying. I'm going to go disruptive tower. Try and get some crafty bits. I didn't want that. Of the Will you join the hunt? I did not want that. I didn't know that was in there. This is karma. This is karma. This is what I did to that dude. Now it's doing it to me. Oh yeah, this is karma. I wish you could drop the airdrop. After you pick these up, you should be able to drop them. Especially when they're radioactive. Like, put the bloody thing down, dude. That got me killed. Last time. A few matches ago. Like, if I find one of those, I should be able to go, hey, but damn, man, put that down. And just abandon it. How do you do that? I tried uh, opening up my inventory, press next, so maybe you got to destroy it. I think I tried that too. The triangle. Maybe they make it so you can't drop it on purpose. Well, it's not really what I wanted um, to be marked as soon as I got into the map when I needed crafty bits. Maybe I'll find some crafty bits inside this thing. Oh, banjo, banjo. Benji, Benji, Benj. Benjo. Benjo. Traveler three. Uh, what, 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 Traveler, Traveler 100Ks, extract with 10 airdrops, <laughs> build 10 shelter improvements, so that, I don't think that, do they count as airdrops, those things, when you extract them, I don't know, I'm just a builder, kill 5 outlanders, I'm just a lowly builder, that's all I am, okay, 
Don't mess with me, please. Let's go open it. Yeah, it doesn't have anything I need. I need bits to craft transmitters. So, um... Not what I need at all. Big Dorshan again. Can we can we sneak in there four times in a row? Let's try. What happens if the timer runs out before you get into a lobby? Does it just cancel your matchmaking? About to find out. So I need 80 more and I can upgrade the antenna straight away again. 80 more. Uh, 63 more. What's the minimum number of people that can load you into a lobby with? I oh, was in six just then, but I think I've seen less than that. I've seen, I think I've seen four, five. But, but maybe that's because some of them left. Like maybe it started off with six and a couple of them timed out or left. Well, it ticked over to five minutes and I thought oh well it's gonna say matchmaking cancel because the lobby's closed but then it's put me into one so either a bunch of people jumped in last minute or I'm gonna be in here with nobody that'd be cool is it is it a common thing for people to jump into lobbies last minute maybe because it took five minutes to find a lobby and then I get thrown in with these dudes Freddy Krueger himself well uh good luck fellow newbies my twin over here my brother from another mother who never bought him a beanie for Christmas good luck my friend because you're gonna need it especially coming in with nothing I suppose you got nothing to lose Smart thing to do. Sounds like you got all the intelligence in the family. Where are we? I spawned on the freaking extract. Is that a sign? Again, I'm coming into this map for the third time in a row. Um, and it doesn't have a loot container. That's not how you get a daily done. <laughs> I want crafty bits, that's right, I forgot. Where am I going to go to get crafty bits, man? Uh, let's just run up the train tracks like an idiot and see who we can uh, get killed by, shall we? Signals detector, he used it, he's right there, he's going to run straight to me. I can't extract, I don't have any freaking electronics. There's some in here. Maybe I can find some. Give me some. I don't I don't like I don't want to be here. Change my mind. Please. But it is night time though. But I changed my mind. I changed my mind, but okay. Let me let let me leave. Okay, comm station got used. Now he's got run from that to that. Is he gonna move the airdrop? Let's wait and see. Or is he gonna move me, trap it? Okay, he booby trapped it. And he'll run straight to the safe. What is that rest area? That's not going to give me any decent loot. It could give me an airdrop. <laughs> Screw it. I've got nowhere else I can go that doesn't look like it's going to kill me, so. Get up there, you fool.
two comm stations now. Airdrop is still in the same spot. Jeez, enough light coming off that moon or what? Stick out like a sore thumb here. So much for night time. The full moon's gonna get me killed. Where I heard some, yeah, straight where I'm heading. Somebody just opened the safe. There's an audio cue for that. The reason I'm wiggling around so much is I don't want someone to shoot me in the head from a distance, so in case you're wondering why I don't stand still. It's not because I have ants in my pants. It's time my head shot off. I heard gunfire coming from this area. As uh, ordinary as an area as it looks. Bad daddy. Get out that bad daddy. I just realised it has a friggin' <laughs> frowny face on the reloading uh, mechanism there. What do you call it? The bolt action. Someone's here. Where did you go? Dude, where did you go? I'm suspicious of anyone that hangs around one spot like they know. the hell was that? You know what I mean? Look. I don't think he just killed someone else that was sitting in this building. Glad I cut my head down. Someone else is running up to my left. They're reloading. What's so special about this spot that people are camping here right now? I 
It's not someone I want to be messing with. I could have took some shots there, but I wouldn't have hit him enough to put him down, I don't think. What did he find that was so special in the rest area? Did he have to sprint all the way there, kill somebody? The plane is approaching your area. Collecting the airdrop is rewarding. Be cautious. Other outlanders may be there. He's still hanging around, guaranteed. He's not leaving. I don't know why he's hanging around this area, though. Weird behaviour, man. I suppose if he knew I was here, he would have killed me already. He's not using any portable signal detectors. He might have been the guy that used that one, and then he came across here looking for somebody. Killed someone else by mistake. Did he booby trap whatever was over there? He's running back to the signal detector, I reckon. He's still here. Yeah, there's someone still here. This is weird. <laughs> Someone's still here, I swear. Right here. S screw it, let's just stand up and find out. This weird behavior. What did he find so intriguing about this area? That he sprinted over here. Are people getting dailies for uh, blowing up car alarm? I mean, doing car alarms? That guy was weird. Like, I got nothing done because that guy was hanging around. Now he's going to go camp and extract. Radiation's rolling down this way. I think we go here. Radiation is near. Don't stay too much longer. And just get out with what I came in with. Not really successful, but... Weird behaviour. Sprinted over there, killed somebody, hung around, hung around. He was acting very weird. I 
I don't want to leave with nothing, but jeez. Not leaving with nothing, you're leaving with your life. That is true. What does the dog bark noise mean? Is that just random? I've heard some people say that like that might mean someone else is on your path. Give me something good, I've got to go. Nothing. Just food. Damn it. Huh? No. Extract. I'm looking for people behind rocks, I don't trust anybody. That dude was acting too sus and it made me think he was hunting me. I should have just w attacked him. I should. I. He didn't know I was there. When he ran past me like that, I could have just crouch walked out. But the way they run around, people that run and gun, if they turn on you, you're dead. I swear they have an aim lock. They just jump dead before you can even get a shot off, so. Got out of my life. That's a situation where a mortar strike I, he he was he ran in there and killed somebody. Oh, did he? I didn't see a dead body over there when I pushed over there. Maybe I ran past it. A mortar strike would have been nice as he was reloading his weapon. Well, pretty uneventful. Here is Luger. I'm going to take in an iodine tablet this time in case I need it to hang around for a bit longer. Brodlin Bridges. The little book container is in a pretty, from what I've seen, easier to reach. It's a small map. Yeah, let's go Brodlin Bridges. Um, I have spawned right on it on this map once before too. Sprinted straight to it, but before I could even figure out how to open it at that stage I didn't know there were padlocks I sprinted to it and uh, someone sprinted up on me and jump shot me around the corner of the like this meh, meh. their gun out from around the other side of the container and killed me instantly meh. as you saw earlier today it's the first time I've laid hands on the locks of a locked container didn't go well, so that daily might not be worth it. I just got to get these transmitter parts. I think I'm on the Truman Show. I'll show you why. I'm on the Truman Show. Either that or on the world's greatest mime. <laughs> Let's go! Brawling Bridges. It's a pretty narrow map. 
There's going to be people sniping the box. So, what was I on? Three thingies in a row? Vic Dawson? Was it? I can't remember now. I think it was. No locked container? Four times in a row? Maybe the number of people in the lobby is also dependent on the size of the map. Because I think this does look like a smaller map. We've only got seven in here. Maybe. So that's why when you go to Felcanton, the lobby is so deadly. It's a huge map. There's more people. Yeah, well, if you're a level 50 and you're coming with nothing, Maybe they, they are just a, um, a nice person. They just need to get this daily done. They're not a killer. Come in and find a gun and kill everybody. Maybe that's her plan. Alright. Oh, my God. Sorry. I spawn near the airdrop and the safe, and there's no locked container. What is going on? Is it because I haven't found the location where it's located? Where's the locked container? I'm confused. Does the locked container only appear on certain maps? Is it bugged out? And you know what? There's enough lock containers for you guys today. We're not doing any more. Because I haven't been to this location and the Bard House is on the map. Um, so what gives? The lock container must only be on certain maps. Plantation. Well, you know, life on the farm is pretty laid back. I woke up in the morning with a whopping great fat. That, I, I won't continue on with the rest of that. I've just realized how dirty it was. <laughs> uh, there's a little song we used to sing at school, teenage years. Let me just say, the, the something on my something was big enough to wear a hat. Thank God I'm a country boy. Thank God I'm a country boy. The fact that no one's used a comm station or anything just yet makes me suspicious. There we go.
Da ist eine. Da bist du mal. Just let me get some transmitter parts and some transmitters. Like, what is going on? Locked containers have disappeared from the map. Transmitters have disappeared from the map. Did I just hear a giggle? That was enough to injure me? Are you serious? I could be good if the lone wolf noise meant... I mean that wolf noise meant that um, you were the only one in the area. Let's hide in the bathroom for a second while I have a think. Where you do your best thinking. Signal detector. It's all way over there. Someone moved the airdrop by the look of it. They're using a signal detector. So they used that comm station. Using the signal detector to see who's around. Maybe I should run back to this comm station and move it back over here. Just really screw them up. <laughs> Someone's been here because this door was open. in that farmhouse right now. Someone activated the other comm station. What are their plans? Someone upstairs. Someone's been here. They've looted everything. Some very weird stuff going on right now. How you like it. Not people popping portable signal detectors every five seconds. But when you don't hear any shooting going on, it does make you nervous. near me, so... It's been booby-trapped, I'd say. I 
think I'm late to the party as far as the loot goes. See, how come I keep hearing wolves howl? I'm gonna sort of letting me know. Dude, there's no one around you. think I've had a quieter run in a long time. This is really weird. He says as he get his, his head shut off. bridge weird how have I not seen this before oh, this is one of the Broadland bridges which I can't discover until I'm up above it So you can get up on the bridge and be a sitting duck. <sighs> He's miles away. I'm just going for undiscovered locations now. Oh no, he's at the, the Bard House, okay. I haven't found anything and I'm kind of desperate to take something. Do I go for that guy's stuff? <laughs> he's just standing there. He ain't going anywhere. That's weird. What an uneventful run this was. Give me something good. Ooh. Okay, okay. The gods have uh, helped me out here. The gods have helped me out here. Where did that guy go? I've got a radiation pill and a... Okay, he got killed. Where's well, the nearest extract? We've got to get out of here, man. People are staying in late and they're going to extract in there. I think I'll just get out of here. I've got two of them. Interesting, interesting, interesting.
these they don't last long, do they? Yeah, don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. No one's even caring about picking up drops. They're just killing people at the... I told you from the get go there was weird behaviour going on, man. Someone sprints by and just stops. <gasps> Not gonna make it this time. That noise I heard it. Beep, 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 I got out of there. I heard a Morse code thingy sitting in the bushes there as I was sprinting past it. That's not a jammer. Is that a transmitter? Is that what a transmitter sounds like when you come across one? Or was somebody using a... I don't know. That was a weird sound. <laughs> got out of there by the skin of my teeth yet again. One of those uh, radiation pills. If I had to see, if I had pushed and tried to take anything else, I would have been dead. I am getting pretty good at getting out with one HP, <laughs> or pretty stupid. What I found the, the adrenaline shot, I found the extra iodine tablet. <laughs> that person that come running past must have just been trying to extract as well because they knew the other one was being camped. Someone got a drop from inside the bard house, tried to extract with it through the middle of town, got gunned down. So the person would, might have just been running to the same exit I was till they heard me and they panicked and ran the other way. Don't know what I'm going to have to do, get some transmitters. And what's the deal with the locked containers not being on the map? I think we're done for the dailies anyway. 46 minutes. I'm not going to get it done. Uh... go Sagbrook because I haven't been there today I don't think we'll try and just run to the nearest thing on the map that sounds like it might have a lot of parts in it usually garages garages for houses have lockers um, there's an area on one map maybe it's Sagbrook that has a big uh, warehousey farm thing upstairs there's a bunch of lockers but I can't be hanging around on the map for too long I'm going to go in, spawn, see where I'm at, run to the nearest stuff, loot, get out. Because I've only got 46 minutes left to get these transmitters. Sagbrook. Come on, give me some transmitters. I've got to find four more of them. I don't think this is going to happen. I think this daily is going to have to left undone. Maybe I'll just concentrate and get in electronics. I 
This is a pretty smallish map as well. I discovered right near everything. Uh, forest clearing. Yeah, that's going to give, give me a lot of loot. Foreman's house. That sounds promising. But there's going to be another spawn around here, so I've got to be careful. Foreman's house. It's up on a hill. the bush <laughs> down the tree just gotta be careful in case somebody like was AFK and they spawned in and haven't moved yet and they're like oh game started and then they come to their thing and I'm standing right there in front of them is that transmitter? Are you freaking serious? Finally. Use the bloody thing, please. Is there a locked container on this map? There is. I guess there must just be some maps have them and some don't. West. That's like right there. Let's go through the foreman's garbage. Keep it in. Uh, I heard someone. Let's keep it in mind. I wish I had a jammer right now. I don't. I don't feel safe. Check the balconies, man. Give me some transmitters or transmitter parts. Just leave, call that a successful run. It's not what I came for though. But I go in the next map and try again, like I said. That's what I've got to do. I do have a cash key, but it's. I'm already full. Someone's probably already camping that extract. Look 
through the rest of the foreman's house. Maybe he's got some more stuff. Do I push it? Where was that? That was that direction. I'd have to go wide and come round, but I heard shots over there. Yeah, we get out of here. We get out of here. I've got some stuff. I'm gonna run into an extract camper probably already, waiting for people to get the airdrop. Is this the friggin' map that that guy got me last time? It could be, you know. I think it is. A cash key wasn't in a good spot too much happening over that direction you didn't get out it's XP too gotta to remember that like it's good XP to extract with that stuff after looting a box hey I got a seasonal challenge done. Give me some, uh, give me some, uh, transmitters as a reward, please. Don't think there is any transmitters in these crates. Uncommon, no. Nah. Damn it. Shut up, rat. It'll be my dinner. Move non usable. Alright. Didn't realise I wasn't even recording just then. Uh, heading to Sagbrook. I'm not going to have enough to get these uh, transmitters done. I need. Four more, four more transmitters, or a bunch of transmitter crafty parts to craft four more, and then jump into a lobby. There's only like 30 minutes left before the challenges expire. Yeah. What's that? Outhouse. Oh, that's my outhouse at the moment. It's a bucket. <laughs> Dude, you gotta empty that bucket every once in a while. I take it he empties it on the crops, fertilizer. Yeah, I think if I find one transmitter or two transmitters, I'm not even gonna bother using them. I'll save them for next time. If I find four, I'll use them. If I find parts, a heap of parts to craft them, I'll run back here and try and craft them and jump in and use them. But I think we've missed a daily challenge. See that big barn there? I need a spawn near that. But it's got a lot of crafty parts in it. Is that a barn? What is it? It's a sawmill. That's where I need a spawn. Who's gonna kill me? Hmm. Hmm. Who's gonna kill me? That guy right there. Or this guy. Seven, six, five, little uh, goldy radioactive protection where put some 
more loot in the pot. Signals detector. Sprint straight to that. Someone use the signals detector and then they'll sprint here and kill me. That's what's gonna happen. Some outlanders might be stalking the drop zone or exits. Signals detector will reveal them. Told ya. How was he there already? Tell me how was he how was he there already? Look at this guy. He's still aiming down sight. So his 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 crosshair is fixed on the spot where people need to go. He could not have spawned any closer than he oh, I did to that just then. Look at the shot he hit. Nah, I call bullshit on this guy. I call bullshit on this guy. There is no way he hits that shot. And I'll watch this guy for a second. I'm going to watch this guy for a second. I sprinted straight to that. And he crouched down, one shot me with a submachine gun from the bushes. Like, is that where he spawned from? He just crouched down, turned around, saw me, boom, dead. Come on. And look at him running around looting. You're telling me this guy's just a looter? You're telling me this guy's just a looter? And he just got lucky and turned around and went, Oh, I need to go to that signal detector and then drop shot me from with one shot. He's not new, you can tell. You can look at the speed at which he's moving. Loot this, loot this, grab that, loot this, grab that. Pretty much resigned to the fact that I'm not going to get those transmitters today, so I'm just going to watch this guy for a bit. Because I don't know how he hits that one shot to the head. Come on, buddy. You're such a good shot with your gun. What are you doing down here looting? I thought I've spawned closer to this than anyone's going to spawn. I'll sprint to it and use it. guy's getting all the loot that was mine. It's taken all my loot. I don't care that he got that machine gun I had. I've got four other ones. You can have it. Look at this guy. Boom loot. Boom loot. Boom loot. Boom loot. Like he, he knows all the spots, he just runs straight to him. <laughs> he hasn't stopped moving. The only time he stopped moving was when he spawned in, crouched down, shot me in the head without thinking twice with one shot. Now he's just non-stop moving. He's gonna leave. He's gonna leave. Are you serious? Dude, you're a crack shot, what are you leaving for? You're a crack shot, and you're leaving? Really? Spawned on the signal detector? Closer to me somehow? Like, that's weird. This guy's just running through doors and not even opening them. <laughs> He's 
He ran through that door without even opening it. He did it again. He's got no health. So he's been in a gunfight already. Not even bothering to heal up. Running through doors without opening. The guy's a ghost. He's a ghost. Let's see what the ghost does. He's got that much health and he's not even scared. Running around the center of the map. People just sprint around and he died from fall damage. <laughs> uh, oh, the Achilles heel of the ghost. <laughs> this is about saying people sprint around this guy's camp in a body. People sprint around and they don't even care how much noise they make. I'm creeping around trying to keep quiet. Dude's sprinting around. Then leaps a railing. And dies. Loses the last sliver of life he has. <laughs> oh, that was gold. There's only two other people on the map. It's Bunu. And Gudu. Gudu hiding in a bush. That's how Gudu he is. He Gudu would hide in bushes. And Bunu. Here comes Bunu. Will he find Gudu? Bunu. All dressed in black. I like that backpack, that's cool. Bunu's hunting Gudu. Where's Gudu? Gudu's still hiding in bush. Gudu. Is camping extract. That's how Gudu he is. He's one of those extract campers. Sits in bushes. This is the extract I got killed at trying to extract from, but I was. There was a dude hiding in that rock over there. And where's. Where's Bunu? Is Bunu going to the side of the map? The airdrop is on the route to your area. The drop zone is marked on your map. Get ready to go for it. Shut up, Ada. I'm trying to talk. So this um game, to me, would be better if you had some kind of notification how many people left on the map. If I'm the last guy on the map, I want to know I'm the last guy on the map. So I'm not stressed about getting killed. I can run around, loot up before time runs out. That's what it should be. Give me some sort of notification how many people are left. Signal, don't say signal detectors. Because people use jammers and you don't know if someone's just jamming your signal detector anyway. I want to know for sure how many people are left on a map. Some sort of audio cue. No, he's going to a different extract. I think. Yeah. Ah, oh, Bunu. Poor old Gudu's sitting in this bush here waiting for someone to come and he's the last one left. He'll probably sit in that bush the entire time and not move for nothing. You're not that Gudu, hun. Budu's already left. You're the last dude left. Bunu gone. And this guy's this is what I mean. <laughs> This guy has no idea how many people are left on the map. That he's just going to crouch in this bush the entire time. I suppose that's what they deserve. Isn't it? That's what they deserve. You deserve to not know how many people are left on a map. You just crouched in a bush. Extract camping. Sucked in.
Uh, that guy, though, when I spawned in, he just happened to be sitting there ADSing. Like, as soon as I cr went to use it, I was shot in the head before I could even touch it. There's no way he one-shots me that easy. Inky killing it. Bench on the run. Oh, well, there goes all my stuff. Doesn't really matter. Daily challenges reset in 15 minutes. So, uh, might as well wait and see what they are. Because we're not getting those other two done. I'm just going to take in a Thompson. I'm going to run straight to the nearest building. Felcanton again. Oh, that Felcanton's the big one, isn't it? We've got a Myron. When we get out, these new daily challenges will be done. Uh, we'll be up, probably. Who knows, maybe I'll spawn right next to the lootable container and I'll fluke hitting it. What are you looking at? Take that right there. That'd be a bit of an upgrade for what you've got for your outhouse, buddy. Because at the moment... I mean, come on. You can do better than that. Get a, like a little step ladder. Step on. Take longer to fill. Be a pain in the ass to empty, though. Should take off that beanie. Like a, a Myron map, I'm gonna stand out wearing that. Take that off. Huh? Huh? Where did my hut go? I didn't even feel a breeze. Here we go. Myron. I think there's like 10 minutes left for the dailies. <laughs> Maybe I'll trip over four transmitters and I'll loot inside a lootable container. Yeah, I'll get off the lootable container. I'll spawn like one meter away from it. Uh, and I'll... Which is where that guy just spawned there. He spawned, turned around, saw me, he's shot dead. <laughs> Robbed. I'll spawn on the lootable container. I'll open it, and by chance it'll only have one lock on it for some reason. And, uh, holy crap. <laughs> uh, this is another map that killers like to play on, I swear. It's every map. Inky killing it's in here again. Interesting. Interesting, let's see. Let's see if he uh, one-shots me to the head again from miles away with a pistol. Okay. Glad I came in here with nothing. This guy just topped up the crate as, as well as the loot. Dun, dun, dun. Now where am I? Right near the safe, so uh, there's no point sprinting to it because someone will probably spawn right next to the signal detector. I guarantee you someone spawned like right here. There's 12 of us on the map. But I got nothing to lose. You got nothing I want. You got nothing I need. I'm gonna sprint straight to this house. I'm gonna get shot in the mouth. You better believe it. I'm dead. Ready. Here it comes. Wait, I'm in the wrong building? Where is it?
Where is it? I've, I've read into the wrong building twice. There's two other people here. Yeah, I call bullshit. What did he hit me with? Yeah, we got a we got another hacker. What did he just hit me with? He one shot that guy dead. All I heard was doof dead. And then he he peeks the door. He's running around with a freaking armor plate in his hand. He hasn't even got a gun out. Yeah, this guy's hacking. He doesn't even have a gun out and he's jumping and hitting people with something. And then he pulled out the gun at the last minute to shoot that guy. But he tried he hit him with something else before that. What's he got some sort of blow dart? Doom. Doom. Does he have some consumable where he can hit them with a blow dart or something? Because that's all I heard when he rolled up on the other guy that was at the uh, building. I heard a thump. And then he peeks in and thump me with something. Like, nah. I call bullshit on this guy. He opened the door, stepped away, and then he stepped in front of the door for like a split second. Not even that, it was like a nanosecond. And hit me with something and stepped away again. Okay, we're gonna spectate someone else. Let's spectate this dude. Let's see what this guy does. I'm just using an adrenaline shot. Sprint into the next person. I really do think this game's got a hacking problem, which is a shame. Oh, someone's roll running up to him. Like, that was weird that she, she had an armor plate in her hand and was jumping up and uh, did killed the guy before she came in to attack me. Peeked the door and hit me with something when she had an armor plate in her hand. That's, that's, what the hell? You see, they they run around with no care. Okay, another adrenaline shot. Go play Call of Duty. I don't like... I like the adrenaline shot for use for getting out of trouble. But you get people like this that bring in a bunch of them and pop them and just run from person to person. <laughs> But this is their playstyle. This is just sprint around the map. And they got no fear. Didn't even fear that guy that had the machine gun. That was jumping, jump shooting. So all they're doing is trying to find where the other person is. else is on the map? We got Brunhinho 15 is hiding in some water. Hey Brunhinho. I don't know what you're gonna find down there but
guy on a rooftop. I know where that is. Are you really going to sprint to the extract? Why? Don't pretend like you don't know what you're doing now. Who was the person that um, sweetened the pot? Wasn't this person, was it? I think it was um, Brunino. He just sweetened the pot and then went. He's going to hide in the water. Are oh, they just run into the extracts to try and uh, someone else is here? They run into the extracts looking for people to kill. She's hunting extract campers, maybe. I don't know. The airdrop is on route to your area. The drop zone is marked on your map. Get ready to go for it. She's over near the Bard House, okay. She's near the Bard House extract. Look at her. Find who looted that. Well, there you go, you got what you deserve. There's another extract camper. That's what you get for running around with. like sprinting around. Like, seriously. You know, I'm glad she died to an extract camper. You got what you deserve. I know this person's not that much better, but... <laughs> it makes me feel a bit better that she's not using some kind of hack. I don't know how how she hit me. Peek strafe and... Like, just peek, bang, hit me with something. I don't know what it was. Insta-killed me. And did the same to the guy outside the shack. That was weird. He's just extract camping. Where's he at? So he's down near the Bard house. He's just going to camp that. It's weird that he would have just stayed there and camped that though. When you've got everyone else is over here. Alright, new daily should be up now. Let's see if uh, Buddy's still sitting in the water. Oh, he's gone. Shark must have got him. Still don't know what the hell was going on with her holding on to the um, armor plate and using it to kill me and that other dude. That was weird. Alright, the new daily's up. Let's get a peek at what they are for tomorrow. Yep. Four outlanders in a row and shootout. Not going to happen. Loot 50 glass, could probably do that. Kill 5 outlanders carrying airdrop, probably not going to happen. Craft 10 SMGs. And pretty uneventful daily challenges for tomorrow. Maybe I can think of something else to do besides those. That's going to do it for today. Let's get the farm villain done. Collect the herbs. Pile of wood. What else have I got? And donate. Oh, hang on. If we're going to donate food. Everyone's favourite. Got to grab the rat portions. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to eat them myself. 
full. Had enough rat portions for the day. So we'll donate them all to the poor misfortunate folk down the hill. Donate. Confirm. There we go. So what happens at the end of the week? The crate should come up inside of that as a reward. And you come here to pick it up like you do this. And then that one comes up as a thank you. The end of Vigor Day to be determined because I can't keep track of the time. I need to put a calendar in here so I can mark the days off. And I'll see you in the next one. Hey! Hang on a second. Before we go, my antenna finished upgrading. Shelter level 7 reached. So we've got to check it out. really getting to work this time. Dude, I don't know about that colour. Hopefully that's just the base coat. Hopefully that's just the base coat. What do they call it? The primer? Uh, the, um, um, I don't know. Yeah, definitely wouldn't have went with yellow. <laughs> Patched up the holes with some tin, got rid of the tarp. Yeah, so just got rid of all the tarp. And like I said, I hope it's not the final colour. It's getting there. So now, what do I do? The outhouse is ready. Do need a new toilet. What do we need for that? Just chemicals? But I think I might do uh, these ones because they're only five minutes apart. We'll get both of those done. Then do the outhouse. <laughs> and then last but not least I'll do the crafting table because I get... I figured out what the uh, materials are used for. If you have plans, which you only have plans for a Tommy gun at the moment, it uses materials instead of parts. So I will have... Crafting of additional items using plans. I'll be able to craft these things using plans. So with all those materials I've got, I'll be able to do a lot more crafting. Sounds like I've got a new track for the record player as well. Alright. Herbs first. Five minutes and then I'll do the other box of herbs. <laughs> Uh, the outhouse because that only takes half an hour and then I'll do the uh, crafting table. <sighs> it uses 240 chemicals though. What does this one use? Only 20. That's all good. So I'll be back in five. I like this music track. What's it called? Shelter Ambience number seven. I like it. Just leave it on. Upgraded the herb garden. It didn't really change, it looks pretty much the same. But now, for the piece of the resistance, I'm going to upgrade our. Uh, this hot mess. Literally. Bucket of mess. <laughs> Leaking down under my uh, soon to be garden, I'm guessing. It's time for an upgrade. Which for me will take half an hour, but for you it will be quicker. And upgrade the toilet. And then last but not least, upgrade the crafting table so I can get some better crafty plans. 
I reckon Outback toilets are cool. I'd love to have an Outback toilet. You're going to walk out to it in the middle of the night and it might be, oh, it's, it's cold out there. And yeah, who cares? I don't know. something about them. The rusticness of the, the wooden door. <coughs> and sitting in there and the dark. Yeah, there's downsides, of course. The smell of the feces sitting in the bottom of the hole and having to empty it. I just like the look of them. Something about them. Anyway, I, I don't know. It's weird. Build. Alright, next time I see you, Bucket, you'll be taller. And covered. See? What did I tell you? For you? It's almost like, uh... Travelled into the future. Happened instantly. Now I've got a nice little back toilet. Um, yeah, see those boots you're wearing, buddy? You're going to want to keep those on every time you come here, though, aren't you? I mean, probably should have the drainage go back the other way. You don't want to really pollute in your stream, either. Not a good spot for it. Not a good spot at all. Should probably put it somewhere else. Where else would I put it? You don't want it too far away from the house, because you don't want to walk too far, you've got to go to the toilet in the middle of the night. I don't know. But, now it's a bit better. Oh, it's even got, I was going to say, it just needs a little moon cut into the door. Stock standard, it's already there. So, how long for the next upgrade? An hour? Chemicals, nails, glass. Do I need any of that stuff for this? I need 240, as long as I save 240 chemicals for that, we'll be right. Alright, prepare to travel forward in time again. I'll upgrade the outhouse, come back in an hour. Cruising with these upgrades. What's going to look like next? That doesn't look any different. It's finished, right? Yeah. That's finished. It doesn't look any different than the last one. So it looks the same, but it does what exactly? What does it even do? Increases production of plants. Ah. So, my sewage increases the production of these plants by leaking down and contaminating my plants. Rose, was this always here too? Did we get some rain or something while I was gone? What's with the water everywhere all of a sudden? Was that always there? Or was that all just leaking down from my toilet? See, now you get a sewage problem. And I can upgrade it again already. I've got that much uh, stocked up in supplies. Two hours. But I won't be able to jump on here again in another two hours. So I'll, I'll upgrade the crafting table because that's going to take longer. Only two hours for that as well. Yeah, but it's more important. Yeah, it's more important. What, is it, what does the uh, plant even give you? Food. Yeah, but I need the ability. Tomorrow when I jump on, it would be nice to have the ability to craft extra stuff using plans. 
And then while I'm playing tomorrow, we'll upgrade the toilet again. Sounds like a plan, Stan. Might even get another house upgrade tomorrow. But you know what tomorrow's daily task is going to be. It won't be tomorrow because tomorrow's daily task is already up. It's to today. Yeah, you know what I mean. I'll be doing these ones tomorrow. But the next ones are going to be upgrade your shelter. <laughs> and I won't be able to because I already did it all. So yeah, when I jump on tomorrow, these will be the tasks I'll be doing. In about nine, ten hours from now. And um, I think it'll be day 13. You know what that means. Nothing but lone wolf runs. Don't know what I'm getting myself in for.